In this full tutorial, I will show you how to log back into your Facebook account when you don't have any two-step verification code, any backup code or any WhatsApp code. So before we jump into the video, I invite you to up-to-date your Facebook application. Then you can open your Facebook application like this. Once you log in, if you already save some account, you will see like this. Then if you could find your account within this list, just select that. Or if you don't have your account, just select use another profile. Then you will get this login page here. Enter email address and password. So here I believe everyone has this email ID and password. If you don't have this email ID and password, I recommend you to watch the Facebook account recovery tutorial in this video description. After that, you can recover your account without having access to your password, phone number, any other verification method. Here, since we have our login details, enter it, then just tap the login button. After that, you will get this two-step verification problem or enter a recovery code. Here, it asks you to check a notification on another device. Since you can't access any other device, all you have to do is just tap try another way. Instead of this two-step verification option, you can see a full list of options that you can use to verify your login. Some of you get this error too. Then it asks you to check a WhatsApp message or get a verification code via SMS. Here, if you can't access your WhatsApp account right now, if you didn't get any code, all you have to do is just tap the try another way option at the bottom. Like this, then you will get a full list of accounts which have the different two-step verification options. The first one, you can use another device as well as you can use WhatsApp and you can use the authentication application code. So you can go and each and every one by tapping the continue button. So you can get approval on another device as well as you can use the WhatsApp code option. Then it is not accessible. You can use Google authentication application like this. Even that application is not accessible right now. You can use your backup code if you generate it. But None of these are not accessible. It will provide some additional options. So just select see more option button. So you can see some additional option. In my case, I got only one option. It asked me to get a verification code using a test message. So why I say me? since I can't access my phone number in most case scenario, I have to use another option. So Facebook offer additional option need another option. So here you have to select this blue color link called account recovery just tap account recovery then you will get this other ways to confirm your account now you have to submit a photo of your id so it's the only way to disable your two-step verification so just select that option now you have to go through this two step first you have to tell them how they can reach you after that you can submit your ID copy. Here it asks me to add my new email address. Here add a new email address or phone number that you can access. Don't enter any of your old one because they will send all recovery link and verification code to this new email ID. Like this I will enter my new email ID. After that you have to verify this email ID. So I will just tap the next button like this. Then it asks me to enter confirmation code. So just go back to your email ID like this. Then just refresh it. Then you can see Facebook account one time verification code will be sent via email. So you have to enter that code here. Take a long press like this. Go to the clipboard. After that, you can go back to the previous window. Just enter the code below. Like this, you can enter it, then tap the next button. After that, you have to submit your ID copy. Here you can see a full list of ID copies that you can get. If you don't have any of these, you can select this. I don't have any of these options, but right now I will select or I will use one of these. Here I will go to the top of the list, then I will select driver license. Here I highly recommend you to Select first three type of ID categories, passport, driver license and national ID card. Tap the next button, then it provides some instruction when you capture a 
ID copy. Tap the get started. Then you have to allow your camera permission. Then you have to allow your ID card within this frame. Then it will be captured automatically or you can capture it manually. Make sure your ID photo is very clear and is readable. After that, you can submit this ID copy to the Facebook team to review. After submitting to Facebook, then usually it will take about two days to review your account. Then when you go back to your email ID, you can see there is a new email from Facebook. Then you can track your account recovery process. Like this, tap this track account recovery button, then you can open within your browser. Here you can see it has made three steps. You have submit your ID, they have been received it. Then now it is in review process. After they will make their decision real quick, then if you go back to your email again, you will receive your two-step verification has been disabled as well as you will provide a link or this kind of blue color button to log back into your Facebook account without any two-step verification. But using this method, if you couldn't log back into your account, I highly recommend you to watch alternative video links in the description or you can click this end screen videos and come on over. See you in the next one. Later!